Hello! In this video I'm going to be going over electron configuration and it's going to be as tough as it gets because we're going to be dealing with the f orbital in there so why don't we start this one. We're going to start with uranium and uranium is number 92 so that is a lot of electrons. Why don't we do it that long way? So alpha principle we start off at hydrogen, but that's going to be a lot. So the shortcut, no gas notation. Uranium is 92. Which one of these noble gases comes before 92? Looks like radon, number 86. So we've got radon. Put that in brackets right there. And all right, we're going to continue on from there. So after 86 is 87. That's in the seventh row. And it's in the X, the S section, francium, and we have 7s1, 2. Then we move on to this next row right here. All right, so after 7s2, we're right here at AC, and this is in the D section. And Ds are always one less than the row they're in, so instead of 7D, it's 6D. 61 and then what we're doing is we're moving all of these inner transition elements are between these D black um, elements between AC and RF in this row so then we count to uranium number 92 1 2 3 it's in the F section and F's just like D's are one less than the row they're in F is two less than the row they're in so we're in the seventh row two less than that is five so we're talking about 5F3, and that is the electron configuration. And oftentimes you'll see an order of increasing numbers. So another way of seeing it would be Rn, 5F3, 6D1, 7S2. And that's the electron configuration for uranium. All right, what if we did the electron configuration of gold? Let's do AU. So AU is number 79, and let's do the noble gas notation because that's way easier. So gold is 79 right there. We have 54 XE that comes right before it. So we're going to write XE, and then 55 is in the 6th row S section. So it's 6S12, and now LA right here is in the D section, but it's one less than the row that it's in, so it's 5 d one, then we have to move right over to this row, 57 to 58. This is in the F section, still in the sixth row, but F is two less than the row it's in. So instead of 6F, it's going to be 4F. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then we're going from 71 to 72 all the way to gold. So this is, again, it's in the sixth row, but it's D, one less than the row it's in. So it's 5D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, and then the best way to rewrite this, because this is not written well, we have XE, 6S2, 5D, 1 plus 8 is 9, 4F14. And when you're doing noble gas notation, you're seeing it would be better to put it in order of numbers. So we got 4F14, 5D9, 6S2. And if you had that, you'd be fine because the main focus for this class is just looking at patterns. However, if you take IB chemistry, we get into D-black elements and uh, really look into the strangeness of the things that happen. And gold is no different. So usually, what electrons like to do is they like to either fully fill an orbital or at least half fill it. So what happens is 5d10 is going to gain an electron from 6s2. That way, 5d, the d orbital, has a full orbital filled up, and the s is half filled. So technically, your full electron configuration for 
gold would be this. Although if you do have this, it would, I would accept it because uh, the main idea is looking at patterns.